as usual, my new intro. Today we will be reviewing the top free agents for this year. As we'll review some of them and see, I'll predict where they would go. And if I get it right, I get it right. So number one on the list, JT Romuto. I think JT Romuto could stay in Philadelphia because he's, he's been really good for them past couple years. And so he's been traded from Miami to Philadelphia. Started in Miami, then Miami traded him. Which Miami today could have a superstar team, but no, they traded all their players. But I think JT Romuto, with he's the age at 30. I think he could stay with the uh, uh, Phillies. So, yep, that's my first player that I think will stay. JT Romuto stays with the Phillies. Second, Trevor Bauer. I think Trevor Bauer. Hmm. That's actually a tough one. Because he could go multiple places. He's like interested in Dodgers, Angels, Yankees. A lot of those American teams. The Cubs, even. Um, he's been really good. He was really good. Um, yeah, so he could possibly get signed by the Dodgers, but I'm not saying. But, like, he's been really good this past season. He has, like, a 1.73 RA. Uh, he just visited Anaheim and... Boston to talk so that's a sign well he had, well he moved he went to California but I think Bauer could actually go to the gosh I think Bauer will actually go to the Red Sox because they're gonna need some pitching but if he doesn't go to the Red Sox, I think he could actually go to the Angels or the Dodgers because he been dominant. He could go back to the AL. So yeah, so I think he could go back to the AL. Third off, George Springer. Astros outfielder, we all know. He's a cheater. But... <laughs> I think he could actually go to the Mets because of their new owner. Because they say he could spend a lot of money. His name is Steve Cohen. I think he, they said he has the highest payroll of like $13 billion. So that could be good for the Mets. And so this offseason, you will see their name is in a lot of negotiations. Even JT Romuto could go to the Mets. I don't know. George Springer, though. I think he goes to the Mets because the Mets have been looking for some haters. They got the pitchers for sure. DeGrom and Syndergaard. And then Showman sometimes does it for them. But he's off a game and then on a game. So, yeah, I think George Springer's going to the Mets. Next up is Marcus Simeon. I think Simeon's going to stay in Oakland. Because he's been great with Oakland. He wants to try to win a title with them. But yeah, I think it's only gonna be like a one-two year deal. He's not gonna stay for them long. He wants to go to a new team soon. But that, after the year after that, not this season, but the next season, the shortstop class is gonna stop stats. So it's gonna be Lindor, Carlos Correa, Javier Baez, Corey Seager, and Trevor Story. It's pretty stacked. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so I think Marcus Simeon's staying with the A's for sure. Number five, Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Zuna has been off and on on season, so that depends if teams want him, which he was really good during the postseason and the regular season, which had 13 home runs, um, which I think is pretty good for this short season. Um, but I do see him actually going to the Angels because they've they have the outfield. They just need like one more outfielder. And if they can get Bauer and Azuna, that would be really cool for the Angels. I would, I would not mind it. So yeah, I think 
Arjuna might go to the Angels. Or he could go back to Atlanta. Next is DJ LeMahieu. DJ LeMahieu is good. He came over from the Rockies to the Yankees. He's getting older. I think he could stay with the Yankees. He was looking for a swing and a miss. Because that's the key piece of the Yankees. They don't have second base. If they use him, he's going to be at second. And Glaber's probably going to be at short. Like they've been doing this season. But yeah, so I think he could go to the Yankees again. Because I don't think he doesn't want to leave the Yankees. With this overstack team with Judge, Stanton, Glaber, all those people. And Garrett Cole. Next off is Marcus Stroman of the Mets, which I mentioned earlier. And I think he's actually, if they don't get Bauer, I think the Angels are going after him. The Angels need pitching. They're, their pitching's been questionable. Mike Trout wants to win a World Series for them, but they don't have the pitching to do that in the playoffs. Last time they were in the playoffs was 2015 versus the Royals, and they just didn't have pitching and they lost. But, yeah, I see the Angels going after Sherman if they can't sign Bauer. Next is Didi Gregorius on the Phillies. He's been aging a little bit. He hasn't been his greatest lately, but he's been really good. This last season. Oh, I had him in fantasy. Um, I actually see him going to the Cubs or the staying with the Phillies. Because the Cubs can put him at second, which they don't got a second baseman besides Nico Horner, which needs to get, needs way more minor league level, because he is not ready yet, obviously. Yeah, so I think he will go, DD will go to the Cubs or the Phillies, stay with the Phillies. Next is Liam Hendricks, which is a 32-year-old from Oakland. I think he could go to stay with the A's, because the A's need that pitching. And I think they'll give him like a three-year deal or four-year deal. Which next is one of his old teammates, Blake Shinen. With the Dodgers, I think he will stay with the Dodgers because he, he likes the Dodgers. It was one of his favorite teams growing up. So, yeah, I think he could stay. Next is Robbie Ray. I think he could stay with the Blue Jays because the Blue Jays need to keep some pitching. They only have Ryu, which is the only lefty on their team besides Robbie Ray right now. So, yeah, so I think he could go. To the stay with the Blue Jays. Next is Jose Quintana. I see Quintana going to the Sox, the Red Sox, or the White Sox, because he's. I I think he's done with the Cubs. I don't think he wants to come back. I think he might. Yeah. So I see. Jose Quintana going to the White Sox or Red Sox. The reason why I'm making these other guys so short is because it's like not a big deal. And Jonathan Simmons. I see Simmons. It's actually a tough one. I didn't prepare this. Uh, he could stay with the Angels. But I'm not being biased or anything about the Red Sox, but like. I think he actually got the Red Sox. If the Red Sox are, might give up Bogarts this season, and they are going to need that backup help on that. So, yeah. Next is Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson, he was going to get traded. But then he stayed with the team. And he obviously got the World Series ring he wanted as a Dodger. And I think that's really good for him. He deserved it. He's been with the Dodgers for a long time. That's his beginning to occur. Um, yeah, so we were going to trade him to the Angels with Shipling, but Shipling got held back and then sent to the Blue Jays for two players to be unnamed. I don't know. Michael Brantley. I see Brantley staying. I think I see Brantley going back to the Indians. He was killing him for the Indians. I think he could go back. Next up is Justin Turner, which will be the last guy on my list. Yes. 
So Justin Turner, I think he stays with LA. He needs, I think that he wants to stay with LA. I don't think he wants to move. Well but if he right. does move, I think I see him going back to where, I think and he goes to the Angels or the Mets. The okay, so that's a lot of money now, obviously. The punch out in the also, John over. Lester, three forgot him. Three down, um, three I see him going Not to the shabby. Red Sox, back because I think he wants to go back to the home team. In a and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, you guys. Sorry, it was a short one. It's just my birthday is on Sunday. And Halloween's tomorrow, so I want to just get this video out of the way. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye.